Good morning, everyone, and welcome to Nikki in Elk Grove, California, and NikkiKarens.com coming to you live on Thursday. Um, we have a fun video for you guys this morning because I get to tell you guys all about my favorite set of knitting needles. Um, Even Susan likes them. Well, you are a purple person, which helps, but that's your That does hint. help, but I like the other one, too. They're purple, and don't be a square. Those are your hints. Wow. <laughs> um, I know that was so like before I was born. Yeah. Um, <laughs> it's hip to be square. But good morning, everyone. All right. So as everybody pops on, we'll start to talk about our grand prize. We'll give away a daily prize and then we'll dive right in. So for our grand prize this time around, we have the Fun and Fast Pattern Ruffy Dough, which is a three stranded cowl using fingering weight yarn but by doing three strands you get to knit at a bulky gauge if you notice the needle size it calls for is a size 10 and a half which is why the name is rapido because it is a fast knit for the prize we paired it with three different skeins of fingering weight yarn because you can totally mix and match with this project. They don't have to be the same color. They don't have to be the same brand. They just have to be similar fiber content. So all of these have wool as their primary component, which makes them play well together. We have Dreamin' Colors Smushy Cashmere in Lavender Bloom, which is this really pretty kind of gray purple or grapeple. This one is 70% superwash merino, 20 cashmere, and 10 nylon, and is 400 yards per skein. Then we have a skein of the Silk Garden Sock in S205, which is blue violets, orchid, red violet, a little charcoal and chocolate. When you turn it up on mm -hmm. the end, you can see there's some fuchsia, some bubble gum. So pretty. This is a very purple people prize. Very. And then last but not least, we have Alexandra's Dark Side of the Moon in Moonbeam, which is the natural white base. And then with the purple rain color splash, which is the red violet to the plum purples. So you have three different fingering weight yarns. So you just pull one strand from each skein and wind them together. Um, and I had a really good question in class yesterday. Somebody asked, should you wind your skeins together into one ball when you're multi-stranding? And the answer is no, 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 and no. <laughs> For multiple reasons, when you have different yarns, all stranded together the way you grip and pull the yarn is the main problem is that you won't actively pull all of them equally and you'll start to have one have this little loop worm out while the others remain tight and even and then you, you can never get that to go back it will not that loop will just keep getting longer and longer and longer like you can try to <laughs> i've done i don't it know and yeah. i tried to worm it back in the other way like let's push a little slack up each stitch. No, nope, it doesn't, doesn't work. work. It screws up your gauge because now you're trying to force the yarn to cooperate. So never wind them together. Just use like pull a strand from each ball separately. Just have them all in a row and pull equally. You will save yourself a lot of headache that way. Um, Somebody let Beverly know refresh. Maybe that will help. Because sometimes her real quick, cause the video will freeze, but the comments keep going. I've seen that before. Still yeah. working, like the comments are still. So far, so good here. Yeah, we're still getting comments. We'll take a quick peek at this beautiful purpleness for everybody. The more purchases you make, the more entries you get. Hi, Melanie. She said hi everyone so everyone say hi melanie hello uh, okay so how you get entered into the grand prize drawing as i wander away with it i'm always so sad when you walk away with that <laughs> you'll have to get your own i know, I know. You get some. <laughs> every time you make a purchase 
from the boutique, you're going to get an entry. It's cumulative. So if you purchase 10 times, you get 10 entries. If you purchase 100 times, you get 100 entries. Probably a hug at that point, too. Yeah. Although, if you want a hug, we'll give you one anyway. But we're, we're not. Hugs are free. We don't require payment for hugs. Um, and then it includes purchases made at natikyarns.com here in person in the boutique and even over the phone with us is basically every time you check out gains you an entry and then on friday the 16th we'll put everybody's names in that fun wheel of names and let boss lady choose the winner okay so do, 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 same prize Woohoo! okay so this one we get to give away today this is one quick hat called lame brain because we'd originally designed it out of a zombie themed yarn so lame brain but it is basically a lighter weight version of our supermodel hat this is the bulky weight version or like a light super bulky so like the new malabrigo novento would be perfect Ooh, for this pretty um but we've paired it with a about a half skein of Noro Bocce that we had hiding in our prize stash in the back. Um, so you'll get pretty striping on this nice, simple, easy hat of just knits and pearls and then knit, 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 and then knit two togethers to decrease. If you've never done a hat and are wanting to learn, this would be a perfect project because it's quick and easy. The stitches are big and easy to see. This would be a good one for learning how to do the knit two togethers and switching to double points at the top of a hat. Oh, Shelly wants to change the lamb brain. <laughs> That's cute. I like that. Maybe that'll be the next hat. <laughs> I love Noro for hats. I have several that have just lasted forever. And they're super warm. And they keep the rain off you. Just does not get through. At least not in our California rain. I don't know about monsoons. No, I don't think but. anything can save you from a monsoon <laughs> except for staying in your house. Okay, so how you get entered into the daily drawing is by doing what I see lots of you are already doing. It's interacting with the video. So if you react with any of these lovelies down here, then you get one entry per reaction. If you comment on the video, then you get five entries per comment. And then if you share the video with this handy little arrow in the corner to your stories, to your friends, wherever you share, um, then you just have to come back to comment on that day's video and type shared to and where, just because typing shared to by itself is kind of weird. <laughs> and also because then, especially if you share to groups and you say the name of the group, we can usually go make some more Natique Peep friends in the groups. I know I've ended up helping a lot of people with like blocking questions and swatching questions because you know, I'm the Math. swatch police. So uh, uh, I see those scroll up in my feed because I go join the groups that you guys share to and then I see those scroll up in my feed and go, oh, I have the answer for you. So we make new knitting and crochet friends that way. And then all of these entries that you guys are gaining right now we'll go into the next drawing so yesterday's video is the control for who today's winner will be pam brawl laramie congratulations well, i'm pretty sure you're not local so next time you make a purchase let us know in the notes that you have a prize and i think i said something funny <laughs> no, it was, I started to write on, I grabbed the sticky and started to write on the pattern instead of the Oh, well, that's okay. It happens. So somebody's pattern has a key on it. Yeah, so <laughs> if you win and you are local, just pop in the boutique, let us know you have a prize, and we will get it from the cabinet. And I think I need some of this beaded silken sequins because it's mm -hmm. kind of sc screaming at me a lot every day. I do. I might have to add that, add that to my stack today because I got a pile already. You guys think it's just you? But it's not. It not. It's not. We cannot help but be obsessed with the pretties floating around the boutique. I'm working on a new project that has beads, and I must have 
eight or ten of those beading crochet hooks and I can't find a single one. So I am getting some more. Here's a quick look at our beautiful Noro, or Noro, Art Yarns. <laughs> Noro Prize Art Yarns while, while Anna gets the next item ready for us. I must have Noro on the brain. Maybe I need to get some of that. We definitely froze on our end. Oh, I'm still going on the, um, the send. Technology. It's amazing. We'll take a quick look. Anybody have a birthday coming up? Maybe I should get that for my sister. What do you guys oh, think? We We're, We're moving again. <laughs> she already has a birthday crown, but maybe she needs a happy birthday crown. Oh, everybody needs that. I know, right? Okay. I am ready. Okay, I'm coming back. So I, of course, have one open to show you guys. But if you did not see our if you've not seen our posts, um, we're doing like a post every couple days with what our favorite needle sets are. So Danielle's um, is the Chowgu Complete Twist set, which are the metal needles. Mine are all things square. So I love, love, love the Jador needle set because they are a square needle tip, which I will show you. Um, the square tips, you can see the flat edges there. And so what that does when you're knitting with it is it allows your hands to find a better grip because there's corners. So you're not making all these tiny micro movements trying to get a better grip on your round needles. Um, so it's easier on your hands. So particularly amazing for anybody who has arthritis. I don't yet, but I knit a lot. <laughs> so let's just not push it. Um, and so even for me, like, because I knit a lot, it is so, so easy on my hands, um, uh, and keeps me from cramping up. Oh, Melanie said that somehow she missed these. Um, yeah, you're going to need yeah, to you need some of order these. a set of these, Melanie. Uh, so the ones on the little sample here, which is from our Try Me station, these are the size seven needles. And the set includes size 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, and 11 needles. It includes 24 inch, 32 inch, and 40 inch cords. End stoppers for using your cords as holders. Cord keys so you can get your needles nice and tight. And then cord connectors which allow you to attach more cord as you go to make your cord longer. It's great for things like shawls. Um, we have somebody doing one of those blankets where it increases out from the center. Oh, so yes. it starts like on double points and then 16 inch circulars, 24, 32. Uh-oh. <laughs> uh -oh. Just add another cord. I'll find them and show you the little connectors. If we had had these, these guys, when I did the tube. Yeah. There. When I did the hemlock ring, Oh yeah, you I was that. on like f four separate size nines oh, that because was before I worked here and yeah, I really would have liked to what, see that. Whatever size I was on, they didn't make a forty or something at the time, and this would have saved my sanity. These things are so, awesome. This set comes with so many extras. You've got a little stitch holder with all of these little oh. heart shaped markers on it. I forgot those were in there. In shades of purple. I know. How come they're not using them? <laughs> I don't know. I forgot they were there. So you've got your cords. One of the things I like with the cords, it's the new braided cable, which is a coated wire cable. They are super strong. I think like this is what they hold up things like the Bay Bridge with. These are mm -hmm. strong cables. Uh, and then a super smooth join from needle to cable. And they come, of course, in this fabulous little kind of clutch purse style pouch. And then there's a pocket in there for all of your little doodads. It comes with a little instruction sheet, which, you know, once you've had 17 interchangeable sets, you stop <laughs> reading. Um, but uh, the nice thing with these two, that's a great question, Melanie, um, is that these are interchangeable with Knitter's Pride, of course. They're interchangeable with Lantern Moon. Um, they're interchangeable with the Likey. Um, Mindful. 
Mindful, which is Knitter's Pride, um, Knit Picks, which are the purple cords. Um, so basically everybody except Chowgu and like Haya Haya. Mm. There's probably other brands out there I don't know about, but of the brands that I know of, Chowgu and Haya Haya are the only ones that would be a no on the interchanging. So the likely Melanie, you have cords that these will already play well with. I For know sure. I do. Because Knitter's Pride were like my first good interchangeable right? needle set. I have a we'll lot of those about at home. <laughs> no. So I love the um, Jador needles. These were a special edition set, so they only come just like this. But because we brought these in and made you guys fall in love with square needles, um, there is another option for you guys that actually answers Hold that question, your question, Kathy. Kathy. <laughs> put this back on here. Karen had attached it to the zipper so it wouldn't smart. get lost because she's a smart cookie. I gotta dig those out. So these live currently on our Try Me station with a little bit of silk garden on here so you can, if you're local, you can come in and knit a row or two and see what you think. And of course we put purple yarn on it because why not? Purple needles. So that is the Jador Purple Needle Interchangeable Set, which is perfect for putting on your wish list for the holidays. Or, if you want to try square needles, then these are a metal needle. <laughs> yes, send the husbands, children, friends. You can even fill out your wish list online. They, they don't even have to come in. If I know, right? If there's crazy ladies at the yarn store, you can just send them on knitykyarns.com to do it. You can even send them the direct link to the product. Like, yeah. I want this for Christmas. <laughs> Nothing else, this. Because, you know, if they're anything like my dad, they need this. D yes. <laughs> And then you will get nothing else either. Like, he, he, he is not creative. He will not, or, he will not come up with any other ideas. He will order you that. Okay, so if you're wanting to try square needles or you like metal needles, we brought in some of the Nova Platina, which are a metal square tip. And, of course, because they're metal, they're super shiny and hard to see on camera. There we go. Um, they are laser engraved with the sizes. So with the metal needles, the sizes will not wear off unless you are like really aggressive with your needles and are actually wearing down the metal because it's like a chemical reaction that permanently changes the metal to have the numbers on there. These are the four inch tips. Um, I did link these for you guys. Um, they are the size you would want for making a 16 inch circular. So like for hats, sleeves, that sort of thing. Or if you just like shorter tips. Like I know Karen just likes shorter tips all yeah. the time. She doesn't want the long ones. Um, and I do have a project, well, a swatch. I'm testing a stitch pattern um, in progress on the metal ones. These are the longer tips because we've gotten the longer tips the first time around. But they are nice and smooth. They, I tend to be a wood over metal needle person, but there's something about in the squares. I love them even more in the metal. They're not as slippery as one would mm. expect. Like they're super smooth, but they're not slippery. And this is a really cool detail right here. Look how long and Whoa. fine the tips are on these. Like the tips on these are equivalent to the Chowgu Twist for those who are familiar with that brand. Um, so you get the nice fine point, which makes it really easy if you happen to be a tight knitter, which I know some of you are. Um, I think we have one more size in these than we do in the set. So we have six, seven. I know there's going to be a little glare. Eight nine, 10. Um, there's not a 10 and a half in this set. So you can get a 10 and a half individually and then the 11. But where these differ from the set is 
well is that they are the four inch tips instead of the five inch tips. There is a 10.75 as well. It's, oh, is there? Yeah, it's sharing a hook because I didn't have ah, enough hooks, okay. so yeah. So you can see the tip is like, the tip starts right here. So the tip is actually quite a bit shorter on the metals so that you can do more of the small circumference knitting. I'm gonna have to get that 10.75 because you rarely see a 10.75 mm -hmm. in sets and sometimes that's just the micro difference you need to finally get gauge on something that's fighting you. Because I don't know if you guys have that happen, but I've had it happen where, you know, I've swatched a 10 and it's too tight and a 10 and a half and mm -hmm. it's too loose and it's like, well, but there's nothing in the middle. <laughs> I literally can't swatch anything else. Patty, if there's sizes you want that you don't see, call me. I'll look and see what's available. Yeah, because they might have more, and we just didn't order everything yeah. because we're just starting to dabble in the square needles a little bit more because we know not everybody has realized that they are the best needles ever <laughs> like I have yet, but you guys will all come to the dark side eventually. I have to say, I have used the Jador size 11, and that's a big needle for me, and it did not hurt my hands. So, yay for squares. Yes, they, they really do make it easier on your hands, so you can knit longer without any pain. Um, yes, different needle types do swatch differently, so that is kind of the funny joke with the fact that I did have a project that I could not get gauge on. <laughs> <laughs> one up or one down it was somewhere in the middle so I had to switch to a different type of needle so it is also good like you may be a I prefer metal needles 99.9% .9 of the time person but you're gonna end up with a project here and there <laughs> that they don't work I have some... something else yeah. the yarns too slippery you can't get gauge all sorts of things so you want to have at least two sets of interchangeable needles in different materials. Now I have like 12 sets of interchangeable needles right? because we're being <laughs> honest here. I think pretty much every set that Natik has brought in in the last 10 years of her Yeah, year, I, I, I think we all have, yeah. Yes, Melanie, I have been harassing them for that. I, yeah, for quite some time. I probably emailed them once a year, so I don't suppose you guys have thought about squares yet. I don't suppose you've thought about squares yet. They're probably like, block this lady's email. She's a pain. We'll have to have Danielle ask every time she orders. Right? <laughs> well, Kathy said she used them for socks, and they were great. Mm, nice. And Darla said she ordered hers. Awesome. Seriously, you guys, once you go square needles, you be like, why did I resist this for so long? They're, They're really, really nice. Really the best. I am because it will only let me keep one of them pinned at a time. I want to relink the Jador set for you guys and because I have the tips pinned right now. Yeah, I wish I could pin a whole column of, you know, I guess I a whole bunch of things. The same comment, but it's yeah, but then if it's easy to click on for people. It, <sighs> It's doable, but then you're like, where's the so-and-so? Because I know she put it, and then it's hidden in the pinned one down below because you can't see it. Yeah. So that's why we tend to just keep flipping them. And then I will show you guys, this is the um, Lantern Moon cord, which have the swivel end. So you can see that my needles, my Knitter's Pride needles really do fit the Lantern Moon cords. I love the swivel with the squares because well, I do the hold them amazing. just a little bit different and it's just nice. You just get that little micro turn that you need to fit your hand. Yeah, swivels are the other thing. The swivel cords are Game the changer. other thing that is so much easier on your hands. So squares themselves are, but then the swivel cords are because then there's no resistance when you're knitting. The needle just moves where your hand moves. Also, if you do magic loop, game changer to have a swivel Ooh, cable. Oh, yes. Game changer. Magic loop, the cord's like, let me turn into a slinky. Yeah. Yeah, uh, I'm, I'm a fan of magic loop, so I like swivels for that. Yeah, the swivel cords are amazing for not fighting with 
pinked up cords. Yes. And since the lantern moons do fit, and the mindful do fit, and both of those have swivel, highly recommend getting yourself some additional cords in the swivel also. And yes, I know I have a tiny baby project on here. I'm testing out a stitch pattern based off of somebody's sweater that may become a cowl pattern eventually. I had to figure it out. Melanie, yes, we do sell swivel cords separately. Let me grab a couple to show okay. you. Okay. We'll look at these pretty purples while she's over there. And this one goes up to an 11, so very, very nice. Oh, Shelly, I love Magic Loop. If you don't like double points, give Magic Loop a try with some help, because it's a little weird to figure it out, but then you're like, OMG, I'm never going back. Right. So in the Knitter's Pride, if you want to be, you know, brand exclusive, the uh, Mindful Swivel Cords are the same thing. They're going to spin just like this, where I can hold the cord steady and still move the needle every which way. Um, and they do have a whole range of sizes from like 16 to 40. What I love, that's why I brought this one over here, is they have a 20 inch. My favorite. So it gives you a buffer between the hat size and the cowl size, which is sometimes perfect, especially like if you're doing a Fair Isle hat, the 20 inch length is actually better because you want a little bit of stretch to help keep your floats loose. But use the four inch tips with it. Yes. Not the five. 20, anything smaller than 24, four inch tips. Save your sanity. Yeah. Don't try it. I've done it. It's <laughs> like knitting with chopsticks. It's not fun. And then um, Lantern Moon does also come in a 20 inch and all the way up to, I believe, a 40 inch as well. Um, I just grabbed a couple of each. Yeah. Um, the difference between the two sets, um, not too drastic. The Lantern Moon's kind of nice. There's two cords in there, so... If you lose one, <laughs> you might still know where the other one is. Um, and then it also comes with wood end stoppers and my favorite tightening key. I love this. Ever. Let me come out. I actually use too, that. It's been too cold in here. The glue, yeah. <laughs> the glue is not sticking anymore. But you've got your little wood end stoppers that screw on the end of your cord. That's your little threading right there. But look how pretty they are. They look like buttons. And then this tightening key right here, because it's nice and long instead of just that little pin, it's super easy to grip to put in the side of your cord and loosen. I think I'm going the wrong way. I pretty much use that tightening I tool tighten exclusively now. <laughs> it's so there we go. helpful. But so it's much easier to grip to then be able to unscrew your needle than just that little tiny pin also a little harder to lose because it's a little bigger yeah so two cords in stoppers and the best tightening key ever so you need at least one lantern moon cord set um you never want to use five inch <laughs> tips on a hat shelly um you always Please. want four inch yeah um and your cord lengths um, are either going to be 16 or 20. I recommend 16 unless it's something like color work where you need to intentionally stretch your knitting a little bit because you don't typically want to start with your knitting stretched out. And then in the mindful, let's see if I can get one open. They, not when you want to. <laughs> they have super sticky glue. Oh no, this one's not bad. Mindful has a cord that's coated with, there it is, these little dots on it. So these are little one inch dots. So when you can't find one of your 700 tape measures, <laughs> you can do a quick ballpark measurement with your cord to get an idea if you're getting close. And then in the little pouch here, they have your little extras. of two end caps with this pretty little um, mandala design on it and a tightening key as well. Comes with everything you need. Just add, oh. okay, almost everything. Add tips and yarn and you're good to go. Uh-oh, got it. 
<laughs> I dumped them in the wrong part of the package. There's too many parts. <laughs> and all of the stoppers and keys, they come with each set of cables you buy. Which is amazing because they go missing. They do. Um, my, my chair eats them. So if you're needing a 16 inch circular in both Mindful and Lantern Moon, like right here where it says 20 inch, it will actually say 16. The So the only brand that doesn't just tell you the intended length of the cord that I know of is Chowgu. They let yeah. you do the math. So Chowgu, you would want an eight inch cord and four inch tips, because eight plus four plus four is 16. Which I know the people who hate math in the room just went, really? Mm, really couldn't you have just math? said eight plus eight? <laughs> well, cause that's, that's I know. two four inch tips. I know. I think I'm probably the only one that loves Common Core math because now things make a little more sense to I me. I think other people like it too. I just think the a lot of us who grew up on tr traditional, traditional math, I know. what they're calling it? I, I don't know. Um, just don't get it. <laughs> Did you hear you me sigh, <laughs> Melanie? It makes sense for our brains. So yeah. Like, I'll get it. just stick to knitting. And I will because I did not, of course, I went a little rogue on myself with the cords here. So I did not um, have links ready for them. So I'm going to link the interchangeable cords page for you guys because that's quick and easy to grab. And I will put it all in the collective when we're done here. Yeah, she's amazing. She goes back and finds all these links that I've like ditched and closed. And yeah, actually, if you would write a note about going rogue items, <laughs> then I can remember. I'm like rogue cables mindful just put cables i'm good and lm cables my brain couldn't handle keeping it that simple okay it needs more info uh oh i like that it's like the I was oh, two years old thing. Darla. She was last month old when she realized you <laughs> add the tips and the cords together to get the size. Only for Chowgu. Yeah, it really depends which brand you're... Um, Lantern Moon, Knitter's Pride, Likey all just tell you the this end makes result. a 20 inch cord. This makes a 32 inch cord, including needles. So only Chowgu do you have to do math. Only one. Okay, so that is it for Anna's favorite needles. She could wax poetic for a while and she kind of wants to keep working on her little swatch here. <laughs> um, but we will move on to talking about what upcoming classes we have before I get sucked back into knitting. Knitting good. I know, knitting is good, except for when you're supposed to be doing a live video. <laughs> well, yes. We'll wander over here and Anna will catch up. Okay. So, actually, these first couple of classes are good examples of when you want your cord length mm. kind of equal to the size of what you want your project to come out. So, we have the Mosaic Trees hat, which is a mosaic knit color work hat, not Fair Isle, but you still end up with strands across the back side of your work. You can see these little dashes. So if you're prone to knitting tight and pulling those too snug and scrunching up your fabric, if your hat's supposed to be 20 inches and you do a 20 inch cable, it helps keep those floats loose because your fabric is constantly being stretched just a tiny bit, which will help keep you from scrunching up your knitting and knitting too tightly. Um, same with our um, color contradiction cowl. If you want a 30 inch cowl, then you want as close to a 30 inch cord total cord length including tips that you can get because then it will force you to keep your floats looser. Now this one doesn't have crazy long floats because it's bulky weight yarn but you can still accidentally knit those a little too tight. Um, so the Mosaic Trees hat class is Saturday December 10th from 11 to noon. We have you do a little bit of pre-work of doing the ribbing and like a knit round or two before class so that way we can dive right in to the slip stitch pattern. And once you've done a couple rows of it 
you're good to go. You're off to the races. And then I'll bounce around a little just since we're already here looking at it. For the color contradiction, we have that one on Tuesday, December 20th. That is also a one hour class from 11 to noon. Um, we have a tiny bit of pre-work of cast on for the de desired size and work the border pattern, which I think is like two rounds. Yeah. Nothing crazy. Um, and then that way we can drive right into this really fun dimensional mosaic stitch pattern in class. This is two colors of chunky weight yarn. The higher the contrast, the better the stitch pattern comes out in mosaic knitting. Then on Tuesday, December 13th, we have the Eyelet Drops Shawl class. This one is a crescent shaped shawl done in fingering or sport weight yarn, really. We used Merino Cloud, which is technically sport weight. Um, and you're gonna learn how to do the shaping of the crescent. You're gonna learn how to do the yarn overs. And then we have you do a little pre-work practice piece on some waist yarn of just casting on 30 stitches and knitting two rows so that we can teach you to do the mesh lace because the first time you encounter it is right here but that's quite a ways into the shawl before you get to that point so we want to be able to cover how really that stitch pattern is not as hard as it looks because it looks like you've got yarn going every which way and really it's like all you have to do is yarn over knit two together um okay that one is tuesday december 13th from 11 to 1. Then on Friday, December 16th and 30th, we have the Dropped a Stitch Shawl class. Um, this one is a really fun one skein wonder um, that is done in fingering weight yarn. We used Merino Cloud in our exclusive colorway electric slide and a beaded silk and sequins for the border because we can. <laughs> you don't have to. It, you have enough yardage in one skein to do it without that, but beaded silk and sequins. We can't help ourselves. Yeah. Um, so this one in the first class, we're going to teach you how to knit the shawl. Then in the second class, we're going to teach you how to drop the stitches and let them run on purpose. And then how to do the border and pico bind off. Uh, Shelly wants to know, is the cowl pattern on Ravelry yet? Um, it is. If you bought it, if you bought the ebook, um, it has not magically added to your library like it's supposed to. And we're waiting on a response from Ravelry on how to fix that, if there's an easy way. But if you're like, I'm taking the class and I wanna get started on my pre-work, call the store and um, I'll find your transaction from the ebook and we'll we'll do it manually. I have a manual workaround that, but it's one person at a time. That's why I'm kind of mm. waiting on Ravelry to do an everybody fix. Yeah. Hopefully all at once. Cause there was like a hundred of you that bought the ebook. Nice. <laughs> I don't want to do it all one at a time. Please don't make me. <laughs> I will if I have to though. If yeah. Ravelry doesn't have a fix, I will get to you guys one at a time. It'll just take me a minute. Um, then on Saturday, December 17th, we have the One Skein Boomerang Shawl class. This is a super fun one where you get to learn how to do dropped stitches the other way, which is an extra wrap and then dropping the excess off on the following row. Rows of eyelets while doing the traditional boomerang shaping, which has this like curved triangle shape. It really is boomerang shaped. It is. It's legit. Darla wants to know the name of the ebook. Um, Turkey Day 2022. It had all of our Turkey Day patterns and then the bonus pattern of color contradiction, which I think, like, if you haven't bought the ebook and you buy it now, it'll be in there. It's because of those oh. who bought it before and I added it that it didn't work like it was supposed to. I'm like, it's worked that way before when we did Year of the Sheep, it worked. So I hmm. don't know what glitch is going on, but hopefully they will help us fix it. Weird. Because I don't know things. Did we okay. get them all? I think we so. We did. We did for now, but there's always more. Yep, so yep. If you're, if there's something that you're like, ooh, I want to learn how to do that, you can always um, send us requests. Of, are you, you know, do you have anything coming up on a cable class or in, 
if we don't have something coming up, we may have something on demand that we can send you to. So it's like, never hesitate to reach out if there's a technique you want to learn. It may be in there somewhere. Um, all right, we will move on to what are we wearing, which I feel like it's been a while since I've worn this sweater, but I unearthed it out of my closet. Um, this is the burdock cardigan. It was it's in an interweave knits magazine years ago and worsted weight yarn. It's this really fun, like pass the slip stitch over oh, the favorite. other stitches stitch pattern for the entire body. And then it has all of these folded hems. So you have a all stockinette cuff. You have an all stockinette hem on the bottom. And then this was really fun. This is the first time I'd done this. This band is knitted as you go while you're working your top down raglan. So you're not sewing it on later because no, thank you. Mm -mm. But you do have to fold it over and stitch it down on the back, but it's on the back. So if your stitching isn't perfect, no one's gonna know. All it has to do is look pretty from this side. <laughs> And then they actually have you to have that fold stay nice and neat. They have you go along and single crochet along the edge to hold it, basically to hold it flat so that it stays down. And then you add a little fashion fastener and voila, you're good to go. You don't have to keep refixing <laughs> your sweater all day because if you're like me and have no shoulders, raglan sweaters don't stay where they're supposed to. I mean, I do have shoulders, but they're very they're very flat apparently because everything falls off of them like strappy garments and me are not a friend all right let me grab the link for susan's real quick before i reveal her in all of her stripey glory you're gonna have to pronounce it though you are wearing CL Claire. Yes, we took this one off display. And I'm like, I gotta wear that one. Yeah, I don't I think Karen took it for a display before you ever got to wear it. <laughs> no, I think I put it up there first. But this is was it Cloud by Lang? Yes. Three skeins. Just a simple rectangle, because we know that's my favorite kind of sweater. But I threw some yarn overs into this one. Just little easy eyelets. It's all stockinette otherwise. Yeah, even the bind off, there's nothing fancy there and it doesn't hardly roll much at all. Probably because of the fluffy chainette yarn, it kind of yeah. helps give it a little more structure. Like I think if you were to knit it with something like Rios, it would, it would, curl. It would curl a little more. But isn't Lightly, it pretty? warm, stripey. Three balls of Lang Cloud and, knit and pearl. you're good to go. Super simple. Therapy project. We all need a therapy project, right? Yes. Okay, so I think that's gonna be it today, you guys. We'll start pulling your orders. I'll return some phone calls because as you guys heard, <laughs> lots of people called during the video this morning. Um, so we'll get all caught up. We'll open the store at 11 and we'll see you guys again tomorrow. Bye.